Join me today as we reinvent a beloved Filipino recipe, the pork pinagoongan, which is loosely translated to braised pork and shrimp paste. Good day everyone, and welcome to the Urban Casserole. Please do share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Our base ingredient for the pinagoongan is what I call a pork hock fillet. This is done by first breaking off the skin from the bone part of the leg and gently scraping out the meat off the bone. We do this carefully to keep the meat intact, up until we reach the joint where we can easily pry off and detach the fillet. What we have left to work with is a hock itself with a slab of leg meat with skin on. We will boil this at tender on a deep pot with the following spices. 1 tablespoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of coarsely ground pepper. A couple of pieces of star anise and probably 4 or 5 dried bay leaves. Adding to that, we will be using 5 cloves of garlic where chopping is no longer needed. And most importantly, 1.5 liter of water enough to cover the hock fillet. Cut them all in and boil in low fire for 2 hours or until it is fork tender. Drain it off once done and let it dry overnight. We will then deep fry the dried off hock fillet in medium heat. Start frying with skin on top, flip over after 10 minutes, and continue on with the same amount of time. Strain and set aside once done. Prepare 5 cloves of crushed garlic, 7 pieces of okra with the tops cut off and sliced into an inch length, 2 pieces of eggplants cut diagonally, skipping off the parts if we see some infestation on it. This vegetable is hard to predict so you might as well buy an extra piece just in case you get a bad one. Drizzle some oil in a heated pan and start sauteing your garlic. Give it a little stir and let it brown a bit. We then add some dried chilies to our liking. If you do not have dried ones, you can opt to use some chopped fresh chilies or a dash of hot sauce will do as well. Let the heat seep in and add your okra to the mix. Give it time to simmer for about 3 minutes or probably a little bit more if needed. Add in your eggplants after that and continue on simmering. Eggplants will tend to suck in the liquids so feel free to add a little more oil if desired. Bring in at least 3 tablespoons of shrimp paste. Have it simmer for another 3 minutes before we add 1.5 cup of coconut milk. Fresh ones are always the best choice, but canned ones are the easiest to get and stores well in your pantry. Mix everything in and let simmer for 5 minutes. This will allow all your vegetables to take in the flavors we added. Set them aside on a plate, leaving as much sauce as possible on the pan. The vegetables will be used for later on, while the sauce will be used to flavor our deep fried hock fillet. Make sure you spoon over a hefty amount of sauce over the fillet before we cover and steam for 10 minutes. The process of boiling and deep frying the fillet gives our dish a unique twist over the usual pinagaongan recipe. This will allow the skin and fat to render differently as compared to when we directly cook it over the pan with the sauce. Imagine a gelatinous texture with a hint of crisp over a firm yet tender meat. I hope you enjoyed our recipe for today and see you next time here at the Urban Casserole.